and welcome to another session of Groundbreakers Live. I'm your host, Javed Mohammed, and we're very honored to have with us Elias Mali, uh, who is an Oracle ACE alumnus as well as an Apex consultant at The Right Thing. So, uh, Elias, welcome. Thank you. So, you are with The Right Thing. What's the origin of that? It's a great name. Yeah, so the name is The Right Thing Solution. And basically the name is coming from a Croatian song from one singer that I really love. And the name, the name of the song in Croatian language is called Čini pravo stvar, that means in translation, doing the right thing. Mm. And this is a song that I was listening like years ago where I really decided that Apex is the right thing to do for me. Okay. So that's the story of the name. Okay. All right. It reminds me actually of there's a Spike Lee movie, I think it's called Do the Right Thing or something like that. So it's, uh, it's somehow, it, it, uh, it, it reminds me of that. So, so with that, let's talk about how, how did you, I love your t-shirt, how did you become involved with Apex? Well, uh, the story goes back in 2004. Then I actually did my first presentation, which was, which was called HTML DD, really just a toy, because back then, uh, HTML, HTML TV was like um, when it was first presented, it was more like, at least in our country, they presented like, okay, there is a tool you, which you can use, but it's more like a toy for developers. It's not like building big stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And back then, we already, that company, we saw the potential in HTML DB. And we did a presentation, which was then HTML DB really just a toy with a question mark. And looking back, it's not a toy. <laughs> well, it can be a toy if you look at it like um, that you enjoy what you do, that's maybe a toy, mm -hmm. but this toy can produce um, yeah, some enterprise stuff. Great. Right. So, uh, and just for the benefit of the viewers, we were talking off camera, so you, you mentioned your country, your country is Slovenia. And, I'm, and again, I think you mentioned you live outside of Ljubljana. What's the name of the, 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 the town where you're from? Uh, it's called Grigia. So Grigia, that comes again from the, from, from, let's say in translation, similar to cross, Grigia okay. cross. So, All right. so along the way, I'm sure you've developed many applications. Is there one you would like to maybe just highlight that you feel you know, was a great accomplishment Are you proud of or you're passionate about? Well, every application basically should be like I'm proud of, right? Uh -huh. um, and it took me some time to think about which one to pick and I still don't know, to be honest. Uh -huh. But let's say maybe there is one application that I'm doing currently. So on Monday, that's going to be... Um, go live for that application. So I don't know how much I can tell about the company. Okay, but it's you, like, don't, you don't have to share anything confidential. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a big German company, retailer in sports okay. industry. Uh, and they're basically using this application in the um, big data area for the metadata uh, management. And I find it really challenging and um, really it's a pleasure to work to build this application and also to be involved with all, all the people uh, in, in, um, in the team. Okay. So that makes uh, everything like a whole combination. It's um, really, I think, I think it's challenging and the end result, so the feedbacks we are getting are good. Great. So along the way, you probably developed many best practices. And again, I, I know it's always hard trying to pick just one or two, but that's what I'm gonna ask you to do. For someone who's kind of new to Apex, is there any advice you would give about things uh, they should do? Yeah, basically, I would have uh, like two things that I really like to emphasize. So mm -hmm. one thing is keep your logic in the database. Okay. So basically, keep everything in the database from Apex, just call the logic there. Mm -hmm. So don't write PS SQL code in Apex, put everything in the database. And the second thing is 
use logging, 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 and logging. So if you ask me your code, you should never use DBMS output hook line. Mm -hmm. Just use logging, put everything in the logs, use it for debug, use it for development, but please use that. Because you, 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 you need logging when you're developing things and you need if things go wrong in production or testing and so on. So these are my two things that I would really like to, to emphasize. Okay. Logic by and logging. Okay. And is there something, just as there are things to do, there are things to avoid, is there any, any advice on that, on that front? Oof, what to avoid? A lot of things, bad practices. I don't know. So, what should you avoid? Um, so, yeah, one thing that it's not like that you should avoid, but you might try to do, like to use really, uh, like Apex is a really interesting, um, let's say, framework. Mm -hmm. One side, it's a low code, which you can just like click through it, right? And it will generate a lot of things. At the same time, it's so flexible that you can do with Apex everything that's possible to do in the browser, right? Mm -hmm. So if I go back to the, the, orig uh, the original name, HTMLDB, so basically you can do everything that's possible in, with HTML and with the database. Mm -hmm. But that can, only, uh, can also be a bit dangerous because at the end of the day, if you are integrating four jQuery libraries, uh, four different other J JavaScript uh, frameworks into your Apex application, then you might ask yourself that you are moving away from the Apex itself too much. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're using it wrongly, or this is not application where you would use Apex. So my, 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 the idea here would be more like try to stick with Apex as much as possible. So use the, the components that are there. Um, maybe, but that's a different topic, I don't know. I try to avoid to use plugins, mm -hmm. unless if I know who's behind the plugin. Okay, so even only I, verifiable. Yes, yeah, so even I prefer to use plugins really who are provided with some companies or with some really people that are well known or I know it them personally. Yeah, <laughs> so there's a trust factor. All right, well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing. I want to ask you one non-Apex related question and I, I know we were talking off camera a little bit. Um, so for someone who's visiting Slovenia, um, which is like uh, north of Croatia, I've only been to one city. I think I landed at Ljubljana when I went for the EMEA tour and then I went mm -hmm. to Botoroj. But if someone is coming there, is there like, I'm sure there's many experiences to have, many foods to try. But if there's one recommendation, you have someone who comes there and you say, you have to do this, what would that be? So either it would be Postoina Cave or Blade Lake. Okay. Uh, but if you would come to visit me, I would take you somewhere else. <laughs> there are some, but there are some good places. But these are like the two most known um, places. Uh, Postoina Cave, for example, that's a big cave. You actually go with, into the cave with a train. It's that big. Wow. Uh, it's like it's really uh, it's really nice, uh, but there are a lot of hidden hidden places. Uh -huh. uh, so, All right. uh, yeah. okay. so three options: Blade, post, uh, Postoina, or hidden places. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I hope one day to not only some of the viewers out there will come come and visit, but uh, I hope I. I'll, I'll get, a, get a chance to meet you in person and check it out. Yeah, it will be a pleasure. Okay, so Aliash, thank you so much for your time and for sharing. Yeah, thank you for having me. And yeah. Okay.